عدنا إليكم تلميذي الأعزاء مع حلقة جديدة من حلقات اللغة الإنجليزية ودائما نحاول أن نحسن هذه اللغة نحسن مستوى هذه اللغة ونصل إلى الحصة الرابعة من سلسلة How to Ask Questions كيف نطرح أسئلة على حسب الكلمات المسطرة تحتها وهي نبدأ قبل ذلك نصلي ونسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ونقول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حتى نبارك الله سبحانه وتعالى في هذا العمل وكل النجاح والتوفيق بإذن الله. إذا we have the first we have one sentence on the board so Sammy always practices sport at 6 o'clock and we are going to uh, ask four questions. So number one it's very easy. Okay, let's write it. Okay, let's write it. Now, who? Okay, and who always practices sports at six? We can say six on set and say six on one. Okay, this is very easy, and we got used to it. Okay, uh, and ألفنا ألفنا يعني ألفنا آه السؤال الأول مع هو لأنه لا تغيير لدينا لأننا دائما نسأل عن السبجكت أو الواقع الفاعل. Let's move to question number two. So always, 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 what is it? What's the question word? Do you remember? Or do you know it? If you don't, listen to me. When we are asking about frequency adverbs, always, often, usually, rarely, never, sometimes, we say how often, how often, how often, okay, we stop here, how often we are asking about a frequency adverb, so how often now, What's the verb? It practices. Practices. Is it present simple or past simple? Okay? It's not present. It's not past simple. It's the present simple. Remember now, we have the three essential elements, which are the auxiliary, subject, stem. Auxiliary, subject, stem. So, what's the auxiliary here? What is it? Okay. We have, we know three auxiliaries. We know does, we know do, we know did. We can't write it there because it's not the past simple. So, do we, we have to choose between do and does. Now, look at the subject. What's the subject? It's Sammy. Sammy practices. We have an S. So, we write does. We write does. After does, we have the subject. How often does Sammy? Then we have a stem infinitive for practice. Practice. We don't write the S, we don't, because it's an infinitive form, the S is here. So does Sammy practice sport at six? How often? At six, sometimes perhaps he practices at seven, perhaps at five. No, he always practices for that six. Let's move to number three. Okay, number three. Do you remember? We said that the action is unknown. We don't know the action. We are going to ask you about it. So, what's the question word? You know it? That's right. It's what. Okay, what. Okay, so very easy. Now we have the auxiliary, don't forget. Then we have Sammy, the subject. Then we have practice. We don't know practice. We don't know the action. What's the activity? We don't know it. We are asking about it. So what's the verb here? We have to write the verb in the infinitive form. Remember, we said that I'm going to write it in red. Good. So remember, we said that do replaces every or any unknown action. Good. So we have what does Sammy do? Sorry. 
What does Sarah, what does Sarah always do? You don't remember always. Okay. What does Sarah always do at six? He practices sport. What does Sarah always do at six? What does Sarah always do at six? He practices sport. Good. Let's move to the last one. At six o'clock, what is it? It's time. It's time. Okay. So, what's the question word? It's what time? What time? Good. What time? Now we have the auxiliary. Does. What time does? Sunny. Always. Practices. Uh, sorry, practice. So practices, sorry. So what time does? We have the auxiliary, so we have a definitive for practice sports. What does Sammy always practice? Or what time does Sammy always practice for? He always practice the sport at six o'clock. What time? Six o'clock. Okay, so Tenemos que llenar esa pequeña y tener esa mesa propia. Te toca como llenar. En el lado. Y yo llevo en el tubo. En el tristipenia. O en el tristipenia. En el municipio. En el día de hoy. En el día de hoy. En el día de hoy. Que te gusta. No se lo rato. No se lo rato. Hasta ya con una acá. Te la suelo. Y dan. Te toca como llenar. En el día de hoy. En el día de hoy. Te llevo en el día de hoy. أن هناك في الجملة يستفهم أن يستفهم عفوا does مع the auxiliary مع subject مع الفعل في صيغته دون التصريف يعني infinitive form إلا في هو فدائما يكون مصرفا و question words أن يستفهم يستفهم نحفظ الله عنه الأرض حتى تسهل علينا أو يسهل علينا النطق أو الكلام من الإنجليزية أو كتابة أي تمرين in just any time لكن نهاية هذه الحصة والسلام عليكم